Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a few exercises to help your posture. So I've split the exercises into two. The first section is to mobilize and open up a little bit that stiffness of your posture, which is very important for you to then be doing the second bit, which is the strength part of it. You can do either one as one whole thing. You can split them up. You, if you want to do the exercises to just release any stiffness, you can do just the first bit. If you want to just strengthen, you can do the, the second bit or you can just combine them together. These exercises will help you stay a little bit more upright. And especially after, if you do an office job or you've been spending a lot of time sitting down or you've been sick in bed and you feel like you're all slouched up and you need something to pick you up a little bit, this is great for you. So the exercises are aimed to lengthen your spine, open up the front and strengthen the back to keep us more upright and straight so we'll be using a few things that you can have around the house primarily a towel if you have one or else a foam roller if you do have one we can be using that we'll also be using some type of ball so here i have two different balls one is actually my son's and um, but you can easily use it so just find something that you have around the house which is not too hard when you're putting it underneath your stomach because we'll be using it to release the tension in our in our abdomen and also or else a trigger ball like a lacrosse ball or something that you have around the house so anything practical that you have around the house you'll also need a mat or a safe space or a carpet in the house wherever you're going to be doing them and once you've got everything we can just go ahead and start so before we get going anyone who's new to my channel i'm anna maria i'm a physiotherapist and pilates instructor with over 18 years of experience in both i believe that having a nice open posture will really help um, a lot of our body function. Science has shown that um, having a more upright posture will help breathing, it will help have our digestive system be a little bit better and also prevent any additional injuries be because of prolonged sitting, because of our lifestyle in general. It requires us that most of our jobs is sedentary and not moving much. So it is a really good one to help alleviate some niggles here and there and prevent you from recurring injuries to keep you away from work so I hope you enjoy them and let's get started so we're gonna start onto the mat we're gonna change position please make sure that if you have already any underlying pain to not push into that pain and just take it at your own pace and if you're not sure about your exercise and whether you can be doing these exercises just consult your um, healthcare professional and just check in with them to see if you can do them but otherwise, let's start. So we're going to just move everything out of the way. So the first thing, as I said, what we're going to do is open up that upper back. And we're gonna use a little bit, either your towel or your foam roller for this one. So the first exercise is releasing your stiffness in your upper back. So your upper back tends to be quite stiff and it's important for us to release the stiffness before we do any strength work, which follows in the second bit. If you have a foam roller, something like this, if it's smooth, it's fine. If it's a little bit knobbly, all you have to do is put a towel over it and then place it where your upper back is going to be. If you do not have a foam roller, you all you need to do is grab a towel, put it, fold it, so this is lengthwise, you're gonna fold it again and then just roll it into a shape of a foam roller and then just place it there. If you feel like you want a little bit more, you can do two or a bigger towel, it's just entirely up to you. So for this one, I'm gonna be using my foam roller and I'm just gonna put a towel over it because it is a little bit knobbly for me. So it'll be a little bit softer for your back lie on your bottom and then just place that foam roller somewhere starting off with the bottom part of where your rib cage is at the back not into the lower back your lower back tends to be quite mobile so you don't really need it for this then place your hands underneath your head and gently roll over that upper back breathing out and then breathing in gently come back up so you want to aim to try and open that upper back and at the same time, because your elbows are open and your hands are behind your head, you're also getting a slight chest stretch, which is important to open from the forward stiff position that will be all day. 
And again, you're aiming for about six to eight repetitions of each one because this is more of a movement exercise. And then what you can do is just move yourself slightly lower. So the foam roller comes slightly higher into almost the area between your shoulder blades. And then we roll over it again. Just try and make sure not to compensate through that lower back. And you're aiming again, six to eight repetition, open up that back. So a bit of modification for this one, if you wish. Just come slump somewhere in the middle. And instead of going center, you can also go towards the side, creating a bit of a rotation and getting more of a stretch on the underside of your scapula. So your shoulder blade and into that shoulder. And that gives you a bit more rotation and movement than just being in the middle. And that's your easy exercise one to start off with. Then we want to come into sitting and if you want to take a few shoulder rolls, this will start opening the front of your chest. And then to start lengthening through those shoulders, bring one hand behind you and then grab the other hand and reach for the wrist. So what I'm gonna do is just switch around and then you're gonna reach for the forearm rather than the wrist and you lengthen away, pushing the chest forwards. And then you release. Bring the other hand onto the forearm and you pull and open the chest and you hold for a few seconds and release. So again, from the front, you're going to be looking at pushing and opening that front of your shoulders, it's like smiling through your collarbones. It's a nice, easy way to remember. Take a big breath in here and breathe out and then one more and breathe out. For this one, it's almost like a hold of a couple of breaths and repeat it a few times. So say one, two, three times is enough. You also want to try and lengthen through this position. So sitting down rather than slouching down, think of lengthening through that spine. Again, a nice, easy posture exercise to hold. And you can use your hands against the knees, lifting that chest slightly up, not pushing too much into that lower back, just lifting the chest and opening up and think of lengthening through the crown of your head. And that, if you hold it there for a few minutes and repeat it about six to eight repetitions, you're gonna get a really nice open posture and get your spine to get used to that elongation through the head. So those are your three exercises to open up. Now we're gonna follow through the second two exercises to open up through the hip and the side of your waist. And then we're gonna lie on our tummy to release the stiffness in our abdomen. For the next one is going to be a lunge position. So we're gonna take a kneeling position, put one foot forward, so in this case is my right. If you need any padding underneath the knees, you can just grab your towel, place it underneath the knee, which is at the back. Now, once you're in this position, we're going to start stretching a bit that hip. So when we're sitting down for a prolonged period of time, we tend to feel tightness on the front of the hip. So this is really good to try and open that up. You also want openness through the hip to try and lift you up into a, a better, more open posture because if everything is tight on the front, no matter how many exercises you do to the back, you're never gonna be able to keep it upright because everything's just pulling you in. So this is trying to open the front a little bit more. So in this lunge position, you're gonna tuck that table. So think of, rather than an arched back, you want to tuck it slightly in. That already starts to stretch the front of your hip lean more forward and hold so every step you want to hold it for a few minutes so think of a few breaths here and taking a breath in through your nose breathe out through your mouth breath in again and breathe out and then from there take your left hand since your right is on the front and then lengthen up and away so we're gonna get that oblique stretch from that kneeling lunge, hold it there, take a breath and breathe out. Again, breath in and breathe out. And you can also aim for some lateral breathing here. So you're gonna place your hands on the side of that waist and focus as soon as you breathe to focus that breath into that side of your waist. So again, breathe in, breathe out. Last one and breathe out 
and then come off and repeat the same thing on the opposite side so we turn around or you can stay in the same position and just shift I'm turning so that you can be you're able to see me a bit better so again you're tucking that tailbone under you're leaning towards the front knee this case is the left and then we're gonna hold it there for a few breaths take a breath and out still think of that nice elongated posture breathe in and out last one and out and then take that right hand lift it up to ceiling so lengthen through the fingertips and then bend away thinking of lengthening through that side of your waist and obliques take a hold there take a breath in and breathe out Breathe in again, and out, last one. Again, you can hold your hand to the side of your waist to focus that lateral breathing onto that side of your waist and calm away. And again, as I said, this is a really good one to open up that hip and the side of your obliques. So the last opening exercise before we do the strengthening ones is going to be to release the abdomen. So. Ideally do this off, not before, not after you've eaten. So you make sure you're not uncomfortable when you do it. We have abdominals here so that, that attach underneath our rib cage and then go through on the front of our hips. So obviously when we're sitting now for a period of time, we are crouched a little bit. So that in itself creates tightness on the front. So in order for us to help our posture and keep a more open posture which also will help our digestion we need to release some stiffness so we'll have stiffness around the front mostly and some 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 a little bit to the side you want to avoid the middle bit which is basically um your linea alba which is the connective tissue that joins the right and the left side of your obliques so that doesn't really need to be stretched out you really want to just focus on the muscles so think of on either side of your belly button and you'll find some tightness there sometimes if you just press along you might find specific tightness and that's where you want to leave the ball so what we're going to do is we're going to lie we're going to grab whichever ball you're going to use either one that you have a little bit bigger or one a bit smaller whichever you feel most comfortable with and you're going to lie on your tummy and you're going to bring that ball starting off just underneath that rib cage and just place it there and all I want you to do is you're just going to start onto the elbows and then I want you to just try and let go of that weight of your upper back into the ball you can even go lower if you want. If that's uncomfortable, just stay slightly onto your elbows and take a breath in and breathe out. With the breath, just let yourself sink into that ball. Just really feel that lengthening occurring because it's going to just let go with every breath. And again, you can move. So you can move your body up the up the way so that the ball goes lower so it started underneath the rib cage and then comes a little bit lower and again you're going to take a breath in here and as you breathe out just let go feel the weight and pressure onto that ball sometimes it feels like a good pain that's what you'll find that's what you want to find rather than it's a really sore kind of pain and again breathing in breathing out and you want to aim for a few breaths, one to three breaths there. And you're just going to move every position until you get to almost the level of your belly button and just slightly below. So all that line, and I'll stand up and show you in a minute. And you do the same thing on either side. Sometimes you find that one side is tighter than the other side. And that's where you really want to focus on. And, so, and this tightness in our abdomen can cause us to shift our posture and will not allow us to open up. So it's important that we do this work. So again, what we're looking at is placing the ball, starting off at the top underneath that rib cage. So not on the bony bit, on the side of, if you want to create a line from that belly button on the side of it, and you stay there, take a few breaths and then lower it further down. 
take a few breaths, lower it further down, take a few breaths and just come just below your belly button. And that's where your abdominals will then get into more of a tendon structure rather than um, a muscular structure. And you can just stop over there. So you'll be doing them on either side and that will help open up a little bit you feel like you're a little bit more able to stand upright even from just doing that so those are your exercises to open up and now the following exercises we're going to be doing more strength based ones so we're just going to use the movement repeat it more times so instead of six to eight repetition as movement wise we're going to be thinking about maybe doing 12 to 15 repetitions until we feel some level of fatigue without losing form or without creating any discomfort anywhere else so the first thing we're going to do, be doing in kneeling again if you need any padding place a towel underneath the knees and we're going to stand upright so kneeling is a good one because it's going to make you use your bottom squeeze up lift through the hips make sure that your ribs are on top of the hips and you're not slightly tilted and you're not slouching down so you really want to open up open through the shoulders and lift up through the head so think of someone pulling you through the crown of your head we're gonna do a w to a v position so this can be also done against the wall if you feel like you're still round forwards the wall will give you some feedback to be able to stay upright a little bit more so you want to keep your, your shoulders open think of smiling through that collarbone open your hands elbows towards your waist into a w position then you're going to take a breath in here and as you breathe out slide those arms in the same position away to form a v and again you slide them back down and i want you to think of those shoulder blades i want you to think of squeezing those shoulder blades all the way and i want you to think of even if you're not against the wall think of those arms sliding against that wall and sliding back up so you want to avoid them coming forward you want to keep them as wide and backwards as possible without compensating through that chest Keep shoulders away from your ears. And again, you can do this as many times as you like. Normally, as I said before, about 15 repetitions to get a little bit of fatigue in those muscles. If you want a little bit more, you can add some dumbbells in your hands or you can use a band in your hand. So that will give you a bit more resistance to progress your exercise. Otherwise, let's finish off with five more keeping that posture, making sure we're not sitting back, we're keeping that upright squeeze through the bottom. Three, and keep breathing. Two, one more. Very good, and then drop the hands and just roll the shoulders back. Well done. So it's a nice, good posture to have to start off and get the strength to work into your shoulders and to your upper back and also getting your glutes to work. Second one for your glutes and your upper back and the rest of your body is going to be in kneeling and four point position. So getting onto our hands and knees, again, any padding you need underneath the knees, use the towel. This one is an easy-ish kind of Pilates exercise, a very common one, but it's really good for your posterior chain, which is what we need to strengthen to help our posture more upright. So again, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Make sure that tailbone is not pointing up nor down. It's somewhere in the middle. Rib cage should be in line with your hips and head. Don't let your chin pull you down. Think of pulling that head up. Imagine you have a pole that is feeling the back of your head between the shoulder blades and onto that tailbone. Hold that position. We're going to reach into a superman position. Take a breath and then breathe out. Lengthen left leg and right hand and then drop it down. And we're going to focus and change onto the opposite and then come back. And I want you to think of squeezing that hip, lengthening through the back of your hamstrings, reaching the arms and really trying to balance that back. So really not pushing the tummy down towards the floor, really working on that back, back muscles and posterior chain. So let's go for four more, really lengthening through that leg and arm and keep your head not chin poking down. Imagine you're reading a newspaper between your hands and you're keeping that focus there. Now hold whichever leg and arm you have. And we're going to open away from the midline and then come back, challenging a little bit. Five, come back. Four, come back. Three, come back. 
two, last one, and then drop it down. Repeat on the opposite side. We reach, we hold, and open out to the midline, and then come back. Open out away, come back. Three, two, one. Drop it down, fold the knees, roll the shoulders, and we're done. So that's your other exercise in four point position to help your posture in that position. So really strengthening the back of your body. The last one is going to be lying on your tummy. And this is going to engage getting your upper back into a really more stronger position. So you get that muscles to switch on to keep you upright when you're having um, your body moving about during the day or if you're at the office as well. So you're gonna lie on your tummy. And this is called the breast stroke. And before we do the breast stroke, we're gonna just do a movement which will allow us to lift through the head and neck and chest, and then we'll add the arms for it. And this is a, like a swan dive, if you wish. So you're gonna lower your head down. You can have a towel if you wish as well, resting your forehead there. Hands as wide as the mat, lengthen your tailbone away. Ribs in line with hips, arms as wide as the mat. You're gonna lengthen shoulders away from your ears. You're gonna take a breath, think of lifting head, neck, shoulders and chest in one nice line. So keep your gaze down. Take a breath and then breathe out, push onto the hands, lift, hold that position and then breathe out, come back down. Take a breath, breathe out, lift. You take a breath at the top and then breathe out, come back down. And once you've done a few of these movements where you're really trying to engage your upper back, dropping the shoulders away from your ears you can progress into your breast stroke so then your breast stroke you're going to move the towel away fold the hands and then place your head underneath and we're going to do a full breast stroke we're going to make sure that back isn't bending too much for the lower back take a breath in here and as you breathe out, you're going to lift head and hands together. We're going to reach the hands away from your head, but you're going to keep looking down. Then circle them out. And as you circle them, lift a little bit higher through the head and neck and chest. And then bring your hands back where you started and drop. So we go take a breath in. Breathe out. Circle and lengthen up. Take a breath in again. And then breathe out as you lower. Breathe in, breathe out, lift. You breathe in and breathe out. You lower back down. Again, you lift, breathe out. You circle the arms, lengthen higher, bring it back and drop. Again, you want to make sure you're not pushing too much pressure onto that lower back. So tailbone away from your spine, tighten that muscle through the back and you're lifting through your chest, reaching back coming back and drop and again lift reach back drop last one lift hold that reach Keep palms facing down take a breath breathe out come back drop it down and then bring your hands next to chest push yourself up bring your knees in as wide as your mat sit all the way back and we're going to finish with a mobility exercise hands on top of each other rest your head this is a modified child's pose where you're going to keep your hands on top of each other and you can rotate the shoulder on either side it will give you time to open up through the back of your spine following the exercises on your tummy and also get you a little bit more mobility through those shoulders and this again, you can do it as part of your um, routine or you can do it as part of your um, daily exercise, whatever you wish, or you can do it on its own. It's entirely up to you. And again, this one is really good to stretch open the shoulders at the back and get you some rotation whilst opening that back after you would have done some exercise on your tummy, but you can also do it on its own. So those are your exercises. You've got a little bit of a routine where you release the stiffness in the beginning and then a little bit of a routine where you do some exercises to strengthen the length that you've achieved, try and hold it. 
as always it's important that you listen to your body don't push into an, any uncomfortable pain and any questions that you might have many i can give you some other modifications if you wish just comment down below and i'll be happy to help otherwise i hope you've enjoyed this video i'll leave you some um, resources down in the description box where you can find some um, exercises or tips that you can use at work and some links to some resources to help you have the best posture at work so this is obviously meant to help your posture in general but it's not really related to work so if you want a particular video done on how to have the best posture at work especially if you have a desk job how the setting should be and the measurements and everything i'll be more than happy to do that just comment in the comments below and i will be more than happy to record that for you but otherwise please consider liking and subscribing to the channel and i will see you in the next one bye bye